All right, hey guys, welcome back to my Let's Play of Birthdays the Beginning. I'm just gonna continue on where I left off. So we are in like episode two, basically, the second level. And here's Navi. What, back already kidding. You worked hard to birth a land plant, but I guess that wasn't enough. Since I can't do anything on my own, I guess you'll have to help me out some more. Prosperity is the goal now. You're going to make the land teem with life. You know about dinosaurs, right? They're a famous organism that roamed your world long ago. Your goal is to birth dinosaurs. If you get that far, I'm sure something will happen. Okay, so basically my goal in this episode is to find a dinosaur or a birth dinosaur. This world though, it's too small to birth dinosaurs. I've expanded it somewhat, so the ratio of land to water has changed significantly. That means the temperature has likely lowered, so expand the sea to adjust the temperature. Alright, so my first goal is to expand the sea. Hmm, why so glum? Maybe you're not happy, but I sure am. To celebrate our reunion, select an item you want from the item menu and press Y. Use the up and down buttons and press Y to record up to five favorite items. Okay. You still seem glum. Here, take these. It's a small rain cloud and strong sunlight. So he just gave me some more items. Small rain clouds will increase the moisture in the selected area. Strong sunlight will decrease the moisture in the selected area. They're useful items. Alright. You don't need them? Aw, oh, come on. Don't be that way. I guess you're still in a bad mood. You can have the river source then, too. It's also very useful. So I got river, sunlight, and rain clouds. Okay, you can use the river source on any flat land as long as it's one t tall and three by three otherwise it won't work what will happen i wonder give it a try and find out okay so he just gave me a ton of items and we're starting out in our same world that we left off from the last episode which is a lot bigger now <laughs> uh, so let's go ahead and open our item list looks like he gave me a ton of items uh, so i can select items the favorite if i wanted to i'm not going to select any items the favorite um all right so let's build a River source. Creates a river source in a 3x3 three three section of flat land. I can't do it. Why not? Oh, it has to be um, higher. Okay, I think I have to raise the land a little bit. So let's go ahead and raise it by one. I need to press the right bumper. Still getting used to the controls. All right, there we go. That should be enough, I think. Well, let's just do a little bit more. I'm just gonna have like a big flat land on this left side here. All right, so let's go back and open the item menu. Here's the river source. We're just gonna put it, I don't know, maybe like right there. Oops, I have five river sources actually. Oops, what did I just do? Wrong button. Uh, let's go back. I might actually do something else, um, but let's uh, go ahead and check. All right. Okay, open item and okay, river source. Put it about right here. Oh wow, that was like nothing. <laughs> the train will be the starting point of the river, lowering neighboring land to connect it to water. By doing this, you can proceed to create a river. If you extend a river, you can obtain even more river sources. You see that green land surrounding the river? As the land around the river starts to soak, over time the land will turn green. This rule applies to both seas and rivers. It's one of the most basic rules of this world. Now let's start making a river. Lower the neighboring ground, just like I told you. But be aware that two rivers won't connect unless the adjacent land is the same height or lower. Also, if the land adjacent to the river is 0t, lowering it will create a sea, not a river. You can always undo things, so feel free to play around. Alright, so let's go ahead and start lowering stuff. I'm going to just lower this whole area. Um, so, right trigger? There we go. You're good at this, kid. A natural, even. Even if there's a sharp uh, decline by river, you can lower it to connect the river. If you do it right, you can make a waterfall. Also, if you extend the cursor and lower the adjacent terrain, the entirety of the cursor will create a river. It's very convenient for when you're trying to expand a river. If you hold LB and move the terrain, it will become the same height as the terrain at the center of the cursor. If you hold LB and move the terrain, okay. I'm sure you've never heard of this before, but there's a thing called Pikaia. There should be a hint in the game info. All right, hold on. Let me uh, lower the rest of this. 
So we're going to be lowering. And I'm going to lower this like twice and see what happens. Oh, look at that little waterfall. <laughs> so there's a little waterfall. Sweet. That's awesome. I'm going to, I might, let's, let's see what happens if I lower this part. Oh, there's another little water, waterfall. I guess I'll lower the other side too. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Um, I meant to do all the way. Oops. <laughs> uh, I'm screwing up big time. Okay, that's good enough for now. Uh, I think that looks great. I don't know what you guys think. It probably looks terrible. But we got our volcano, a little water around it, and our little river. Um, okay, so the goal is for t is to make Pikia, whatever that is. Uh, water 46 degrees, C with algae, minimum 18,000 cyclomedusa, currently 10,000. All right, I think what I'm also going to do is I'm going to expand the sea a little bit. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, just, um, do I have more items? I think I might have more items. Small recovery leaf, I have a rain cloud, mysterious cloud that slightly raises the soil moisture in an area when used. Uh, strong sunlight, mysterious cloud that slightly lowers the soil moisture in an area. Hmm, I might use those later. Uh, okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lower this, expand the water a little bit, because the algae won't grow if it's not in the water. We're going to try to lower the uh, temperature a little bit as well. So the more we lower the land, the warmer it gets, and the more we raise the land, the colder it gets. So let's go back out to macro mode since I don't have any health. And we're just going to start time, get my health back. And we need, um, let's see, we need... 18,000 Cyclomedusa. So we're just going to watch our Cyclomedusa. I'm pretty sure we're just going to get it automatically. It's not that big a deal. And we just got it. Sweet. Happy birthday. Pikea was born. If you look in the game info, you'll see what you need to do from this point. So we need to go to the game info. You might have noticed that there are certain rules that regulate the birth of life. Though new life will be birthed naturally if you create the right environment. Certain conditions might be met to create blah 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 blah. If you run into trouble, it's my job to help you out. Oh yeah, you have not noticed already, but it takes a while for the sea's temperature to change. If you change the temperature by moving the ground in micro mode, the sea's temperature will gradually adjust accordingly. It goes to birth the sea organism Astraspis. Alright, how do we do that? Uh, minimum 276,000 Pikea. Alright, so we just unlocked Pikea, which means we're going to have to go capture it. And when we capture it, we can kind of see what it is. So this is the Pikea, right? Uh, let's go and capture that. Oops. Oh, I captured it. Cool. So here's the Pikea. It looks like a... Yeah. I saw that thing. I saw this on the Discovery Channel the other day. Or National Geographic, but anyways, um, uh, birth temperature 41 to 51 degrees. Uh, currently, the temperature is 50 degrees, so no big deal on that part. I think what we should do is we should raise the temperature a little bit because it seems like um, it seems like the world is a little bit too hot or too cold, a little bit too cold. So um, yeah, I think it'd be a good idea to um, start lowering more of this stuff. So let's uh, let's do that. There we go. So every time we lower like a couple of these, the uh, temperature will go up a little bit. I think it looks nice that it's not all like even. There's like a bunch of holes. Um, looks a little bit more natural in my opinion. So the temperature has gone up, I think a little bit, um, hopefully anyway. I think the sea temperature will change um, naturally over time. But I'm just going to use all my health and that should be fine. So let's go ahead and go back to macro mode. And we're just going to speed up time. And with any luck, we should get a bunch of Pakaya growing. Uh, looks like one of our um, one of our one of our species has gone extinct, which is bad, but that's fine. What we need is 276,000 Pakaya. Right now we have 80,000. 
Oh. We're getting a lot of new species. Alright, let me check to see. Okay, our Pacaya species is going downhill. We're gonna need to expand the water a little bit more. So let me go ahead and go back to micro mode. And you can kind of see that our world is coming to life with all sorts of uh, new creatures, and new ecosystems. Let me go ahead and go into first person mode and just check everything out. I don't know why my camera is uh, scrolling to the right. That's not supposed to happen. I think that was a glitch. Uh, what? <laughs> okay, I think, I'm, I think I just encountered a glitch because my camera is just slowly moving to the right and that's not supposed to happen but oh well we could just look from here um, let me go pick this uh, little light orb up I think that gives uh, some experience and it might be a good idea to actually capture some of the new species that we unlocked uh, looks like we ca we unlocked new um, plant life somewhere over here I think so like this is a new species I think yeah it is so we get more experience every time we create a new life form, and if we capture it, as you can see we level up, we get more health, and that allows us to um, build more stuff. So I think, yeah, I think my uh, build cursor is even larger than what it was before. Um, so let's, work, let's go ahead and lower this. Make some more land for our uh, plants to grow. I love how it just, it all just came to life all of a sudden. Okay, I'm out of health. Uh, let me just scroll forward. I kind of just want to look around and see it all the plant life. I don't have like too many different types of species, but I mean, what I do have is pretty cool. And it looks like I am missing a couple of species. There's something here that I missed. I'm going to capture this. It's like a oyster. Dino, wait, Dinorthus. Dinorthus, cool. And there's some other species that I haven't, I haven't captured either. It's hard to tell like which species you have captured and which ones you haven't. Um, I right, definitely captured that. Just look around and just see what I have and haven't explored. Because there's like a lot of dots on the screen, and I'm not sure um, which species I have and have not learned. It's kind of strange that my. Um, the camera isn't focused on my character either. Hmm. There's like a lot of weird stuff that it's showing. I don't really understand like why it's showing me all these random stuff. Oh, there's another one of those uh, little guys just crawling around. Okay, anyways, let's go back to macro mode. I think we expanded the water uh, far enough, so let's go ahead and just speed up time, get our health back, and then pretty soon we should have plenty of Pakaya. Um, yeah, the Pakaya population. It's going up and down. I'm not really sure why it's going down. Now it's going back up. Yeah, it's going up now. There we go. Now everything's going up. New species. Sweet. Not really sure why the Pakaya keeps going up and down. Uh, and more new species. Let me go ahead and slow down time a little bit. Um, let me open up my little library and let's look at the Pacaya. Birth temperature 41 degrees to 51 degrees. Adaptation temperature 29 to 63. So 41 to 51. But what's the temperature currently? The air temperature is 40 degrees. Um, so that was wrong, right? Let me just make sure one more time. We need to raise the air birth temperature to 41 degrees. Let me just make sure. So it looks like, looks like I might have made a mistake. Wait, it says, okay, it says the temperature down here is 42 degrees, 41 degrees. That's plenty, plenty, right? Um, for this, 41 to 51. All right, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start raising some land because I might have, uh, I might have made it too warm or maybe not warm enough. If you lower the land, it becomes warmer. So maybe I do need to lower more land. So let's go ahead and, I guess, lower more land. Um, and maybe, okay. Yeah, so currently the temperature is 40. I'm trying to raise that. 
So now the temperature is going, going to go up to 41, 42, 43, 44. All right, that seems great. Um, now we should see a huge like boom in population. And we should probably research some of these new creatures. Captured. Hooray, starfish. I know there's like a couple things that were born, but I'm not entirely sure what. Oh, maybe these red plants over here, maybe. I haven't seen those before. It's not letting me capture them. I don't know why. Maybe I need more uh, health. Oh, there's something. Hooray! And there's one thing over here on the volcano that I missed. Hooray! Level up. More health. Sweet. Uh, I might as well finish this off. Let's go ahead and make it go all the way around the volcano. Oops. Wrong way. Okay, perfect. So now we have this huge stream of water and let's go ahead and fast forward time i'm sorry if i'm going a little bit too slow to you for you guys i'm learning uh at the same rate that you guys are learning so i may not be playing as fast as you guys might uh like so the population should be going up i'm at 187,000. it is going up it's almost at 200,000. okay it's at 200,000. how many do i need 276 i'm at 261. And we did it, finally. That took forever. Happy birthday. It's kind of cute. Remember the library? There's some other information besides the life forms you captured. Uh, blah, 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 blah. All right, now what? Conditions for a new species. Water, 35 degrees C. Minimum one. Astraspis has appeared previously. All right, let's go ahead and check out our new species before we go on to the next objective. Whoa, our world looks pretty cool. All right, so where's our new species? I think it's right here. So here's the Astraspis, tropical level A, height, birth temperature, 36 to 46 degrees, etc., etc. All right, so conditions for Andreopolis, blah, 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 sea level one. See, minimum one Astraspis has appeared previously. Um, water, 35 degrees C. So currently the water temperature is 43 degrees. Oh crap. Okay, so the water temperature is way water okay, so water 35 degrees. The water is way too cold right now. Or warm. It's way too warm right now. I need to make it super cold. Um so to do that, I would need to raise areas. Let me just see what stuff I have. Lowers the moisture, raises the moisture, seed of mutation, seed of evolution. Hmm. So honestly, I think what I need to do is just raise, raise like mountains and stuff. Because <laughs> that'll lower the temperature. That's pretty much what I have to do, right? So let's just make some mountains over here. And I might as well go to my item list and do a recovery leaf. Hooray! Because the goal right now is to lower the temperature to 35. So I'm just going to make a lot of mountains over here. At least my uh, little world's coming to life, even though I'm not the uh, best at shaping the world. <laughs> Starting to come together. I should probably make some more over here. I'm just gonna keep using more, um, more leaves to get more HP. It's starting to look like Minecraft. <laughs> All right, almost at 35. I might have made the uh, water a little bit too uh, warm. But now we're back at 35. I'm going to go ahead and lower it to 34. 
Maybe even lower than that. Because it says I need to be at... Hold on. It says I need to be at 35 degrees C for the Andreopolis. Let me uh, look at the library. Do I have the Andreopolis discovered? Probably not. No, I don't. So I'm just going to leave it at 35. Okay, so let's go ahead and exit out to the overworld. And you can see my world is uh, coming to life a little bit. Kind of cool. So I guess I'll just uh, speed forward time. And we did it. Yes. That was uh, pretty easy. Remember when I mentioned the first link in the food chain? Well, allow me to elaborate. Basically, strong predators feed on weak prey. It might sound cruel, but that's how organisms are connected. Without prey organisms, predator organisms cannot survive. So there's a lot that's born just to be eaten, and if the environment isn't maintained, the whole system falls apart. The food chain is very deep connected to life, blah 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 blah, okay. Right now you should birth a Colanthus. What do we need to do that? Water needs to be 28 degrees. Minimum one Andreolopus present. All right, so what I want to do is I want to uh, just look at the Andreolopus, wherever that's at. The new species we just created, which is over here, I think. Yeah, there it is. Um, it's a fish. We made a fish. Capture, really weird camera angles. So, yeah, it grows between 30 to 40 degrees C. It says for the new thing, I need water to be 28 degrees C. All right, 28 degrees is pretty cold. So let's go ahead and just keep making more mountains, I guess. Oops. It probably, it probably doesn't have to be uh, that cold. It could probably be like 30. Because there's always like a range of what it can be. I'm just gonna make some like big mountains in this corner over here. Just trying to make some like boundaries. <laughs> make it all look good. Alright, uh, I have to use another recovery leaf. There's a way to make it all flat ground, but I just forgot how. I guess it's not that big a deal. So we're almost at 30 degrees. Once we get to 30, I guess I'll stop. So we're at 30. Um, I think that should be fine. I also found a field source. Sinners on the cursor to make an area the same height. When you raise or lower 2,000 times, it might appear in the queue. Sinners on the, on the cursor to make an area the same height. All right, anyways, let's go back to the main menu. We're gonna speed up time a little bit, see what happens. So the fish is actually growing in population big time. Oh, yeah, I don't think... Oh, we got it. I think we got it. Nope, that's a new species. It's not the one we wanted. Alright, so we need to get to 28 degrees. I'm not at 28 degrees currently, so let's go ahead and go back. Make some more mountains. <laughs> Look at this world just come to life. Look at this. It's crazy. New species. New everything. I might as well uh, find out what this new species is. Oh, we found a tree! Our first tree! Look at that. Our world is coming alive. I'm basically a god. <laughs> I'm just a spaceman. Creating Earth for the first time. Alright, so what we need to do is we need to raise some more mountains to get the way, I think. It needs to be 28 degrees, yeah. Alright, so we're going to raise this part of the mountains. There we go, that should be fine. Then we'll go back to macro mode. And now the new species should be, should be born fairly soon. There we go. Oh. Something was born and then it just immediately died. We got a fern. What's the temperature? Air temperature is 36 degrees. Water temperature is 32.5. Is the water temperature like a little bit too warm? I think the water temperature might be a little bit too warm. But we are growing like lots of different species now. Like tons of different species. Oh, 
Alright, let me go pick up all these, uh, little shiny things. I think they're experience? Not entirely sure. They might be gifts. But yeah, they're like gifts. They give, uh, like a full HP recharge. Yeah, they're all gifts. Um, alright. So we did find some new species. Let's look at these new species. Um, little ferns. Let's, uh, capture that. I think we're getting close to dinosaurs. I just need to get this, uh, next thing figured out. So the water is currently at 35 degrees, 34 degrees, 35. I wonder if we lower the water a little bit more. 33 degrees, 32 degrees. Okay. So maybe I just need to make the water lower. Lower the water, the colder it gets, but it also raises the temperature of the air as well. Let me uh, use the item. So basically we just need to make deep sea. Yeah, there we go. So we're just gonna make like a deep hole here. Okay, that should be perfect, maybe. Water, deep sea. Yeah, that's what we were missing. We didn't have any deep sea areas, and that's why it wasn't uh, being spawned. And we just got it instantly. Sweet. <laughs> just as plants migrated onto land over time, animals will too. Marine life will first evolve to be able to live on land and in water. This is believed to be the origins of amphibians. Check game info to find 